The great innovation with the ASD Space Mobile is that your phone will automatically discover the satellite and your phone will automatically connect to the satellite and you will be connected to the internet, you can browse, you can make phone calls. And so that's a great service to our customers and we believe in the feasibility of the technology. My name is Johan Weiberg. I am the Chief Technology Officer of Vodafone. That means I'm responsible for all the aspects of Vodafone's networks, IT and digital systems. Our purpose as a company is to connect for a better future and we really want to enable an inclusive and sustainable digital society. We are the, the biggest mobile and fixed network provider in, in Europe and, and one of the largest also in Africa. And we have got more than 300 million mobile subscribers, uh, 28 million fixed broadband customers, 22 million TV customers and about 140 million IoT devices that we support worldwide. We've been building mobile networks for, for almost 30 years now and it's hard work. We have got almost 200,000 uh, towers across the world where we have base stations. So it can be hard just in, in normal cities and, and, and in rural areas. But when you get too far out, you have mountains, forests, there is no electricity grid there, there's no way to get power out there, you can't get up on the mountain, etc. So it's really difficult to build out a mobile network everywhere. We started talking to ASD Space Mobile in, in the middle of 2018. It was my R&D team that started working with the CEO of, of AST, as well as some of the really brilliant people in AST. And there was a discussion about would it be possible to, to build uh, a satellite that could connect directly to people's smartphones. We have quite a lot of skilled engineers uh, that knows what's, what works and what doesn't work. And we've also been part of standardizing the technology for, for many years. There were multiple meetings between ASD and Vodafone discussing the technical solution, what are the challenges, how they would overcome, etc. Looking on, on simulations and calculations doing our own comparisons um, to be convinced that it would work. We got fairly quickly to the conclusion that yeah, we really believe in this. We think this is a great idea and we think it's very realistic that it can succeed. And hence we decided to invest in, in AST Space Mobile. What really motivated us is that we thought this would be a great complement service to our customers. We have ground-based networks, but we don't have ubiquitous coverage. By adding the satellite coverage from ASD Space Mobile, we will basically have ubiquitous coverage everywhere we were operating. Today, at every tower, there is a base station that handles the communication with your smartphone. ASD basically takes and cuts that base station in half, takes the top part that talks to your smartphone and moves it up and puts it in the satellite. And that piece talks to your smartphone. And that half piece of the base station then talks down to the ground to the half that's left here. Some of the brilliant innovations and patterns comes from how you make that move up. And that's why I believe this is going to work so well. And, it's, and it's, a, it's a very simple and effective solution to a problem. We see many different companies now trying to, to launch uh, new space-based networks. I think what's unique in, in the partnership here and the unique in what, what AST is doing is it's the only technical solution where you actually can use your existing device. All the other space-based connectivity is based on new type of devices, new type of phones, and that really limits the uptake and the cost. Now they are good, they are complementary services, but this is really the mainstream from, from what I see. Some of the values that Vodafone is bringing to AST is that first of all we've been uh, building and operating mobile networks for 30 years. Secondly, we have very strong relationships with, with key partners and vendors in this industry and that are really key also for, for AST in, in, in building and designing the solution. And we also have operations on the ground in these countries and there are also things like regulatory situations to be handled, uh, ground-based stations that needs to be in place, etc. 
we got the experience of handling all of that for, for many years in, in many countries. So I think it's, it's a great partnership. We want to provide as simple and seamless experience as possible for our customers. So we would make it available as part of their uh, plan. As soon as they move outside, coverage on the ground, automatically their connection would switch to be working through the AST uh, space mobile satellite. The you as a customer will just continue to communicate without even knowing that you made that change. There are two great things that you can enable with AST Space Mobile. First of all, we will never have coverage from all of the Earth as we're building mobile networks today. It just isn't possible. It's too expensive and you can't provide coverage when you're in an airplane or when you are out on the sea. By using satellites, we can actually provide connectivity wherever you are on this planet. Your regular normal phone suddenly have connectivity wherever you are. The second thing is that there are so many people today that don't have connectivity where they're living. I mean, just in, in Africa, there are 375 million young Africans expected to enter the labor market by 2030. And they will need the skills to excel in the digital economy. Not all of them have connectivity where they are living today. If we didn't have the AST space mobile technical solution, I think that the alternative is no connectivity.